Hi guys, welcome to episode 2 of Best Modern UI Apps. And today I want to talk about Hyper for YouTube, which is a YouTube replacement app, since Modern UI doesn't have an official one. So let's get to the app. This is the home screen that you see. You get your newest subscription first, then you have this menu with search, subscription, what later, favorites, playlist, watch history, and downloads. If you scroll to the side, you see your most popular for your region. In my case, it would be Germany. And then you have a plus. Here you have the following options to add stuff. You can select any search you want, also a category if you want to. Then you have the channel, you can add by name or the top channels. And then your stuff, with, which would be favorites, watch later and recommended. You can do all those so all the side scrolling gets even more. Let's just check it with the favorites. Now you have the favorites on your side. You can add even more as, as, as you prefer it. Let's check the settings now. If we go into the settings, here are the general settings. Here you can select the region, set a filter, select the theme. You can also get more colors. Select the download folder for the videos, for the MP3 files, and watch your history and recents and change your account. If we go back into the settings, there would be the home screen options where you can hide the most popular, hide the newest subscriptions, and the menu in the first position. The last thing would be the player options. Here you can select the default playback quality. You have 360, 480, 720 and 1080. You can change the player theme. You have desktop and entertainment for your choice. And then you can select the, uh, the you can choose the player. You have hyper player, which is recommended. It allows you proper playlist playback, default video quality and themes. You also get the YouTube player, which allows captions, annotations, register views. No proper playlist, uh, no proper playlist playback or default quality though. The last two options would be play videos in detail view. I will show you what this is later and allow videos in the background. Let's just start a video. If you don't select the detail view, it will start always in full screen. The detail view is this, where you have the following options. You can give thumbs up, thumbs down. Here you have the ad, but it doesn't really disturb, so I don't mind it. The next thing would be the description of the video. Then you have the comments. You can post a comment if you want to, but you can't reply. You can select one and this for me looks like you could reply, but if you hit it, nothing happens. But you can enter the contact of this person. And then on the side, you have the related stuff. If you now check the options, you have pin to start. You can download the video. You can edit. You can zoom, change the volume, change the quality and also make it again full screen. So that's it for this. If you have the video playing now in the background and go to the home screen, it is always available here. You can just drop it off. And the good thing is if you start a video, you can use the snap view and on this player it properly scales every time. If you see it here, you have the smallest one, it's proper, it properly scales. And whenever you change the size, it will properly scale. No issue here. So, in my opinion, this YouTube player offers you everything you could need. It is customizable. You can get your subscriptions pretty nice. If you go into this, you get a different menu here. You have the subscriptions, uploads, most popular, your search, your latest, your favorites. Here you have your stuff for search, subscriptions, what later as you have on the main menu. If you hit the categories, you have the categories. So, as you can see, in my opinion, it offers you pretty much all you would need for a nice YouTube experience. I don't really, any, besides maybe the option to reply on a comment, I don't miss anything. I really like this. It looks pretty nice. It works perfectly fine. And that's why it's on my best modern UI apps list for the YouTube app. Okay. I hope you liked this review and give me a thumbs up. Please reshare this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Bye.